Hi friends, uh, today we will be talking about how a brake system is working in a JCB machine. Um, this technology uh, is all uh, used in almost all uh, backhaul loaders, construction equipment like uh, Caterpillar, uh, JD, Terex Vectra, uh, Mahindra, anywhere you can see worldwide the same technology is used. Uh, before uh, watching this video you might go and watch uh, my youtube channel the brake master cylinder working so you can get a good idea about how uh, this system is working because this is just a continuation of that particular video so uh, how a uh, brake system works uh, the brake is exerted on the rear tires when the rear tires stops the braking is happening the brake system is working so the brake is happening so uh, where we are stopping actually so as an operator for a driver uh, he is just pushing the brake pedal that's what he knows but what is happening after that that's what we are explaining uh, for a, a JCB driver and operator when he press a uh, brake pedal uh, the brake pedals are directly linked towards a, a brake master cylinder it is a hydraulic unit so it is pressurized and the pressured oil uh, through a, a hose reaches the rear axle uh, towards the uh, brake piston and the brake piston moves so what happens is that when the brake piston uh, moves, it exerts a pressure towards uh, the rear axle shafts which is resulting in the system to brake. So let's see how it uh, happens. Before that, uh, there are two systems that you should know. For the rear axle brake, we have uh, friction plates and counter plates employed. So let's see what is a friction plate. Uh, this unit, as it is drawn over here, is a friction plate and it has asbestos coating over here. This is a friction plate. Okay and uh, we have a counter plate also so we have a counter plate also so this is the counter plate okay and this is the counter plate actually these two systems are very important uh, for a brake system in a JCB or a construction equipment uh, machine so what happens is that this counter plate is fixed towards uh, the axle arm that means the counter plates are uh, not free to rotate this is the axle arm or this is the casing portion this is the differential so these counter plates will be fixed on this one so you can see these uh, four dogs over there it will be fixed towards the axle arm so they are not free to rotate it they are stationary and also these friction plates over here you can see this groove uh, here we have a gear and these friction plates are uh, linked towards the axle shaft so this is the axle shaft both sides we have two axle shaft there so like this so one axle shaft over here another axle shaft over here for both the tires so this friction plates are uh, five of these friction plates will be linked uh, towards the axle shaft and as the axle shaft rotates uh, these friction plates also rotate as the axle shaft rotates they, these friction plates also rotate they are free to rotate with the axle shaft because these grooves are linked towards the axle shaft so that's uh, how uh, a friction plate is uh, working so how is the brake actually works when we apply the brake pedal what happens is that the brake a master cylinder the pressure reaches uh, the brake piston and the brake piston pressurizes these counter plates towards the friction plates that means these friction plates come into contact with the counter plate and in between there will be another counter plate see what happens normally the brake will happen because this counter plate is not free to rotate as it is locked on the axle arm and this friction plate which is a part of the axle shaft which is rotating getting in contact with the counter plate and another counter plate on the other side again holding this friction plate again another counter plate a friction plate is coming another counter plate is coming again another friction plate and another counter plate is coming so in one side we have six counter plates and five friction plates on the other side we have uh, six counter plates and five friction plates so total 12 counter plates and 10 uh, friction plates are here so when they get uh, locked the brake system happens that means the counter plates holds the friction plate and the friction plate which is connected to the shaft locks the axle shaft that is simply how a brake system is working in a JCB machine uh, I hope uh, you understand uh, it's working thank you